jasno kažem svima, volim to slavno ime i divim se samo njima. Volim to slavno ime i divim se samo njima. Na svetu ništa veće, ne može da postoji nego što je naša ljubav prema crnu veloj boji nego što je naša ljubav prema crnu veloj boji ljubav prema klubu ne može da prestane Klicaću njemu, volim te partizane, dok živim klicaću njemu, volim te partizane. Da volim crnobele, ponosno kažem svima, volim to slavno. I vidim se samo njima, volim to slavno ime, i vidim se samo njima. Ok, molim sve da se namestite, svoje mjesta, hvala. Prvo ćemo raditi grupnu fotografiju za Euroligu, molim sve ljude da budu van čeone linije osim srđana koji radi za Euroligu. Ruke na kolenu. Svijem se. Linija sa strane. Počne. Molim vas samo što brže i što bolje. Ukoliko je sve u redu, hvala. Svi treneri osim Željka, all coaches except Željko, go for individual photos. Đorđije, prvi utisci nakon prve utakmice, nakon ovog medija deja organizovanog za Euroligu. Što se tiče utakmice, ostvarili smo prvu pobedu u sezoni, tako počeli sezonu kako treba. Što se tiče mene, dobio sam šansu, sad je na meni da radim, da budem strpljiv i da čekam šansu i da ovo pojeti iskoristim ako najbolje što mogu, najbolje što znam. Evo počele su te aktivnosti u sklopu Euroligije, bliži si prva utakmica, kako ti kao mladi igrač gledaš na sve to, da li ima treme? Što se tiče ekipe, mislim da nemam treme, da su svi spremni i da su čekali ovu sezonu da krene. Naprvo smo radili cijelo leto i nama je da se borimo i da pokušamo da pobedimo svaku utakmicu koliko je to moguće. Zek, your expectations in Euroleague? 
My expectations in every competition that we're in is to go out and fight and come together and do whatever it takes to win. I think that we have a good opportunity. We have a good chance to win every game that we play. We have a good team, good coach. And so that's what the team is built for. So we're going to go out and just keep fighting together to be successful. You will have a big support from this arena. For sure. Um, the fans are always great. And so we're grateful for that. And so as a team, we're locked in on our goals this year. And it's a new year, so we have to continue to move forward. Yeah. Um, and then obviously, you know, we have to wait, I think, too. Matthias, you're coming back to EuroLeague. What are your expectations, your ambitions with Partizan? Uh, I mean, as, as everybody, we have high expectation now. We will have to we will have to see and taste tough one game after the other. You know, in EuroLeague, every game is very important. And, uh, and you know, I think this is how we as a team have to have to uh, get into the season, take it one game after each other and it starts uh, with Berlin. So we just get ready for Berlin, be ready for this game and then after this game we try to get better for the next game and go so on and so on. Dante, first of all, how are you? How is your injury? Is that now in the past? Yeah, you know, it, it was good. You know, I kind of went through a stage where um, I was playing injured and then, you know, kind of caught up with me. Um, but, um, you know, I was able to take off some time and, uh, you know, get my body right and everything. Now I'm feeling good. How do you feel after first game in Partizan in Zagreb? Yeah, no, it was a, it was a really good game. You know, obviously, you know, obviously getting a win is um, the, the best result possible. Um, and I think there's a lot of things we can still work on. I think playing 40 minutes is our biggest goal. Um, and I think we kind of didn't bring it in the first quarter, but... Um, you know, it's goals and steps that we're going to keep taking to you know make sure we play that full game. Now you're living here for a month and a half. What are your first impressions about Belgrade? Yeah, no, I love it. Um, you know, one of the biggest things is I didn't know about the Belgrade waterfront. And that's where I've been living and walking around. Um, you know, lo uh, love all the restaurants and the shopping. So um, you know, it's been really good um, just being down there. Your expectations in Berlin and in Euroleague in generally. Yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, the expectations, you know, are going to come game by game. You know, I think we need, that's how we need to approach it. Um, you know, we're not going to look into, you know, April, end of the season, into playoffs or, or whatever. I think we need to take it game by game and make sure we're focused. Um, you know, every game is going to count for us. And, um, you know, that first game is Elba. And, you know, we need to make sure we go out with a win. And James Nunnally, as most experienced guy in this team, how do you feel to work with in the youngest team in your league uh i'm you know i'm blessed first of all i'm blessed to you know be playing basketball and you know and doing what i love um i'm just excited to play like i love i love basketball um, i'll go anywhere to play so i'm excited how do you feel after first game i feel good mm, you know we won a game that we were supposed to win and you know um so uh, they had some good they had a guy who's passing like crazy. Uh, I think he had 15 assists, but yeah, he, he, that dude can pass. But you know that was a good, you know, it was a good test for the, on the road and you know to start our season off on a good note and get a win is a win anywhere is always a blessing. Uh, first Euroleague game is in fr Friday in Berlin. What are your expectations in against Alba and generally in Euroleague? Uh, I know Alba is a tough team, you know, especially at home. Uh, going off of last season, you know, um, I just expect us to, you know, to play, play together, you know, play for each other and um, just play hard and fight, you know, and try to win as many games as possible. Expectation before season? I mean, uh, you know, I really ha don't have much expectation. Uh, I think we all need to, you know, it's time now to, to work and get together and, uh, you know, try to give our best. Uh, I hope and I expect us to be healthy. Uh, to be uh, united all together and you know uh, uh, build a good chemistry and try to give our best from the beginning of the season till the last minute, give 100% for the club and uh, the fans. Uh, so uh, this is my only expectation and this is my only hope for now. Mm -hmm. uh, what will be your role in the team? I mean, it's not uh, something specific. You know, I think I can contribute to this team in uh, many ways, uh, like I did in, in my career until now. Uh, I hope I can, uh, you know, help the team succeed and uh, take wins. This is my biggest uh, uh, concern and this is my biggest uh, uh, wish uh, for this year. Okay. Uh, how satisfied are you with the team, coach, city? I'm, you know, very happy with everything. Uh, 
the city and the place and uh, you know the culture of Serbians is very close to uh, Greeks. It's very familiar to me, so I received a very warm welcome and you know I thank everybody for this. Um, the team and the coach and everything in the organization, you know, welcome me, and uh, you know I'm I'm very happy and uh, everything you know is smooth for me here. So I already feel very comfortable. I already feel uh, very well here. So everything is uh, going great. Is your okay uh, with your injury? Are you ready for season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, I mean, uh, I had a you know injury, unfortunate injury with the national team, which didn't allow me to practice much before the Eurobasket, but. You know, after that, you know, I focus a lot to, you know, be healthy again, and uh, it was nothing major, but I had to miss these two weeks that I missed. So, you know, I'm happy now that I'm healthy again and uh, I'm ready to go. Iski, it's your second year in Belgrade, second season. How do you comment all this? How do you like to work with those guys in this city, in this country? Okay. This club, of course. Yes, <laughs> yes uh, I already said uh, said last, last season, um, Partizan is a basketball club. Of course, they, they have football, but uh, I feel the atmosphere of basketball and I feel really comfortable. Uh, now we took one more step uh, playing for Euroleague and it's going to be tougher than last season. Uh, it's going to be a, a tough year, but we will fight until the end to, to reach our goals. S some guys think that it will be maybe easier because a lot of, there is a lot of guy from guys from previous season, there is a lot of familiar faces, uh, same players, same staff, same coach, coaches. <laughs> Well, yes, yes, uh, it could be, but we still have uh, some new players and they have to get into the system. Um, the, the players we already had last season already uh, took uh, the experience from last season, but we have to get into the group the, the new players. You're now living in Belgrade for one year. How do you like everything here? People, food, uh, city. I love, I love Belgrade. It's a small city. Uh, you can go everywhere, almost uh, on foot, uh, uh, short distances. I like the food. I like the people. The only thing that I don't, I don't like is cold. When it's cold, it's really cold. I'm from Badalona, from Barcelona, and in Barcelona. Let's say two, three degrees is cold over here. Last season minus twelve for me is <laughs> amazing. But what can I do? <laughs> How do you spend your free time? Do you hang out you and other coaches from the staff? Jelko, Vlade, Bata, uh, Bogdan, Atza, maybe I forget yes. somebody. Do you hang out uh, between practices, between games? Okay, sometimes of course. Uh, uh, the thing is. We talk always about basketball. Sometimes we don't, but we always talk about basketball, ACB League, uh, uh, Turkish League, Italian League, because we have former players uh, or ex-players uh, everywhere. So, so we talk about uh, I don't know. Gigi, did you see Gigi Datome or Nicolò Meli or Meli Mamutolu or or Jan Besseli? Uh, uh, some we fans will now think you, you are looking for a new player in the team when you say this. No, 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 of course not. Just uh, the way we spend, we were talking about the, the, the way we spend our free time, uh, coaches and, and staff, when we are not on practice. Thank you and good luck. Thank you very much.